Uh, well, here we've got the quick selection tool in Photoshop, which is incredibly powerful. You can just click and paint and drag out a selection over anything and Photoshop automatically in theory detects the edges and gives you that selection. I'm going to select my background image here. And we're going to paint over this part of this gray jacket. Well, the jacket that we've colored gray, right? And whoop, we selected too much. So I'm going to hit command or control Z to undo. I can just paint over this area. Boom. I got a selection roughly of that part of the jacket. Let's say I want to get rid of this bit here. I just hold down my alt or option key and uh, paint that away. You can hold down your shift key and add to the selection once you have, you know, sort of let go and commit to uh, committed to a selection. Um, and then again, use alter option to come back in and paint away bits of the selection that you don't want. Now, one little trick here with the quick selection tool, a couple actually, you can adjust the size of the brush just like you would any other brush tool, the size and the hardness and spacing of the actual brush strokes that are being laid down. They're theoretical brush strokes, not real brush strokes. The other thing is, let's say I'm up here on this blue layer, actually. Let's say we've changed the color of the jacket to green, so I'm working on this green layer, but I want to get a selection of, like, the watch, right? Well, I can paint over the watch, but I'm just going to get all these funky blocks and not really much of anything because I'm not on that layer. Well, I can tick on these sample all layers, and then I can come in here and make my selection over the watch, um, and, of course, go ahead and hit Refine Edge and refine this up a little bit. I mean, you can see a very, very rough selection because I just painted over it very quickly. Make no mistake about it, though. If you use this tool, you tweak it a little bit, add and subtract from your selection where it's needed. The Quick Selection tool maybe. Well, it's not quite the most powerful tool in Photoshop, but it is incredibly convenient and it's such a time saver. It's a great tool, an absolute must know how to use. The Quick Selection tool in Photoshop. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.